these guys. I gotta do a video on these guys. The trim wedge. I just used it for the first time. And what do I think about it? Dude, these things are a freaking lifesaver, okay? <laughs> I wish I'd have had these 20 years ago. Whenever um I got my first Floyd. So the JS here, the 140. I just did this one with it. The bridge was really kicked up just a little bit. And I was like, man, I really don't feel like adjusting it. So I got my card out here. Look on the back right here. Loosen your claw. Two whole turns. One to two full turns. Select the proper trim, trim wedge and insert it between the sustain block and the body of the guitar. Push the trim wedge in until the bridge sits parallel to the face of the guitar. Tune the strings to pitch. With the guitar in playing position, you turn the screws in at one eighth to a, a half a turn at a time until the block falls out. Once that block falls out, your trim is balanced and completely ready to dive bomb, shriek all you want. So they got all the different sizes for original Floyd Rose that you may encounter. The Stratocaster or other similar floating trims. This is the one that my 140 takes to get it looking good. So yeah. I mean, the bridge was kicked up massively. And look at it now. Let me get it up here. Look at how that thing's sitting. That's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, this thing was kicked. I could see up underneath it that my fine tuning screws were visibly longer in here. You're not supposed to be able to see that. You're supposed to see it just like this here. And I can hit that bar all I want. Up, down, back and forth. She doesn't go out of tune. But you guys that own Floyds or Strats, please invest in these. Skyscraper guitars. Get you some of these things. So what you would do. First thing you do. Unlock your nut. Always unlock the nut when you're working on your trim. You don't want it locked while you're adjusting things. Because the strings are stretching. And it, it could break them or you're not going to get desired results. After that, remove your back plate. Turn your springs two full turns out. Loosen them off two full turns. Pick Whatever block it is that fits in between your sustain block and the body, right here at the back. Put it in there. Keep an eye on it here. So you can see where it sits level. Once you get it there, you leave it. And it will hold it in place. You can do all your setup work. You can tune your guitar all you want. Get it right to pitch. And then adjust those screws in one eighth to a half a turn on each side until the block falls out. Usually in playing position is what you'd want to do. Now there might be once maybe that you would have to uh you would have to uh adjust it back a little bit or forward a little bit, but I mean, it makes it a hell of a lot easier than sitting here futzing around with the screws and then tuning it forever, futzing around some more. Oh, it's not quite right. Do it again until you get it almost almost right i guess you'd say <laughs> but man that's that saved me forever man let's see right now it's 10 30 right now at night and i started this at 10 15 so i loosened my springs loosened my strings to where it was relatively in pitch not dead accurate it doesn't have to be and then did what this card right here said to do I followed it step by step with, um, which one is it? This trim wedge. And it did everything that it was supposed to do. I will swear by these from now on for all Floyd and Strat setups. Freaking awesome, dude. Get y'all some of these things right now.
Now, they're pricey, yes, but they're worth it in the time that it saves to get this aggravating, aggravating thing to do what you want it to do. <coughs> so, yeah, that's all I had to say in my review. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. 100%. I recommend it all day, every day. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep it metal and shred it up all the time. If you got to do your Floyd setups, these will save your life. End the story. Take care.